Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, we are gonna do a, honestly you can do whatever flavor you want, but it's gonna be a cold foam coffee style. So like if you guys like pumpkin cream cold brew, vanilla sweet cream cold brew, Irish sweet cream cold brew, you get the point. So that's what we're gonna do today. If you guys missed my like coffee makeover video, the last one I posted, that is why it looks a little bit different. I, well mainly my husband did most of the work. We just kind of made it a little bit more cohesive with the kitchen. So that's why it looks different. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little new background because I totally do. But yeah, let's get on with the video. It's really the easiest thing ever. I just broke my head looking for ways to do this and I bought a blender and I didn't like how it mixed. I returned it and little did I know that all I need is my Aeroshino that I already use. So if you guys if you guys have the Nespresso machine, most likely you guys already have your Aeroshino because a lot of them will come with the bundle. But this is what I'm going to be using to make the cold foam. It's just the Nespresso Aeroshino 3, I believe. Um, nothing fancy. If you guys have a handheld frother, I think it'll work as well. Because honestly, that's all it is. This frother has this little whisk and it just spins and spins and it froths your milk. So. This is what you need, but if you don't have it, you can use a milk frother, like a handheld one. I'll link a couple down in the description box below. They don't have to be super expensive, and honestly, like I said, if you use this, the frother thing is not even moving. You don't have to like maneuver it at all, so I don't see why a handheld one wouldn't work too, so keep that in mind. I'm also going to use whole milk. I haven't tried this with um, almond milk. I don't know if it'll work. Maybe that's another video but I'm not very sensitive, so I'm gonna use this, as well as your heavy whipping cream. And this is like the main ingredient in the cold foam. If you look up any of those Starbucks drinks, the main ingredient, the first ingredient you're gonna see is this. So as long as you have heavy whipping, heavy whipping cream, you're golden. And you know what? You can mix this with um, skin milk, 2% milk, I think it'll work as long as you have the heavy whipping cream and then just your choice of flavored syrup i'm going to use the classic caramel syrup from tarani but you guys can use whatever flavor you want you can do irish cream you can do vanilla you can do whatever you want you would even do um like if you don't have any syrups if you have vanilla extract and if you have powdered sugar you can do that because i've also done that and that is pretty pretty tasty but i'm going to keep it simple for today just so you guys can see the consistency and how it works so we're going to use classic caramel for this recipe okay let's get started Alright guys, so this is how it looks. The cream's already kind of moving down, but we're gonna taste test it. Let's try it. Oh my god. This is so good. It's not the healthiest, but I mean, really if you put a lot of syrup and 
I think it's probably just the same as my other drinks because I do a lot of like flavored syrup, but this is so good. The Aeroshino just does a really good job at um, making it really nice and thick and creamy. It's not too thick and it's not too like liquidy. It just, it's really nice. You saw when I was pouring it, it just sits on top so, so well. And you don't really have to mix it as you're drinking it. The coffee just kind of mixes with the cream as you're drinking it. It's a really nice experience. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, this little how-to. If you guys have any questions or any like with the different ways that you guys want me to experiment with this, leave it in the comment section below. And before you guys go, let me know what your favorite like sweet cream cold brew is from Starbucks because mine hands down has to be the salted caramel sweet cream cold brew. I love caramel. So this is a really nice touch. If you guys want a little bit of salted, you could even add salt to the mix and I think it'll be a really nice treat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoy your sweet cream, sweet cream cold brew and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.